Okay, well, it must be time for the next release, but I haven't heard from Mark. Let me check something real quick. All right, thanks, Miko. It is inspiring to be surrounded by so many- I'm not in the video! Who does this guy think he is? How dare he leave me out of the video? Oh, well, will you look at this. Mark's about to record another video for Angular V21. Well, I got something special for him. <laughs> 2D or not 2D? That's the question. Hey everyone, Mark here from the Angular team. Excited to tell you all about Angular V21. What is happening? Dear Mark, your challenge is to complete all the levels and unlock the secrets of Angular V21. Each level ends with a key to unlock the portal home. Collect all three and you'll be able to get back to 3D land. Failure to do so and you'll be stuck here until version 35. <laughs> oh, remember, you still have to give the Angular V21 update while you do it. Good luck. P.S. Next time. Include me in the developer event. PPS, watch out for the boulder. Your friend, Jessica, XOXO. Boulders? Jessica! Hey, where did those birds come from? Oh, maybe I should go over to that first game world and see what's over there. How bad could it be? Oh, would you look at this place? Uh-oh. Boulders! Ah! The Angler team has been working on our AI story since Google I.O. 2025, where we launched angler.dev forward slash AI! Ooh, since then, we've expanded our AI offering, and we're excited to tell you what we've been working on. We have so many new features to share with you to help you build your next great app. To tell you more... Wait, who's gonna tell you more? Ah! Oh, Devin, how did you do that? How did you do that? Hello, Mark. I'm Devin the Architect. First, I just have to tell you about the new Angular MCP server, which is stable as of V21. It comes with built-in tools that LLMs can use to do things like load Angular best practices into context, search the Angular docs, and find structured code examples. Together, these tools help LLMs write high-quality, modern Angular code, even for new features like Signal Forms and Angular Aria. We've also added two new tools to the Angular MCP server, an experimental tool to modernize your code base and a stable tool to migrate your app to Zoneless. And get this, the tool even ships with an AI-powered Angular tutor that dynamically tailors lessons to your experience level. It provides open-ended exercises that emphasize learning, answers questions, and it even checks your work. You can also launch the AI tutor directly from an open source GitHub repository. To get started with the Angular MCP server, run ng-mcp. The Angular team open sourced a new tool called the Code WebGen Scorer that evaluates and scores the quality of AI-generated web code. You can use this tool to make evidence-based decisions, compare generated code quality across models, and monitor changes over time as models and agents evolve. This tool isn't limited to Angular either. You can use it to evaluate code generated by a variety of frameworks and models. Not that I'd use anything other than Angular. And finally, the Angular team has added valuable resources to their AI portal, angular.dev forward slash AI, such as new design patterns guide. There, you can find recipes for infusing generative content into your apps. And Mark, I recall you hosted a live developer event showcasing all of the incredible things going on with Angular and AI. I don't know where your journey will take you next, Mark, but please take this key which is infused with all of the amazing power-ups I've shared with you today. Farewell, and good luck, my friend. <laughs> yeah! That was so cool! I cannot believe I made it out of there without taking any damage. Devin, or that architect dude, it was so cool! 
Now I have my first key. Those ladybugs look super cute. Let's head over there. Well, would you look at that? A super cute ladybug. What the? Ah! Yikes, talk about working under pressure. Well, we just learned about how Angular is paving the way for developers to build AI apps and generate high quality Angular code. We think developers will love this work. We also think our next feature oh, <laughs> will be something that developers will certainly appreciate. Devs have long mentioned that it is a challenge to style components. Well, we have something very cool to show you. That is, if I don't get smushed by this ladybug. Ah, yes, yes, a door. Wagner, oh, I'm so happy to see you. I was just talking about a new feature that you've been working on. Mark, I'm so glad you found me. You almost didn't make it, but fear not. I'm the one they call Wagnerock, and I come bearing good news from the Angular Components team. Today, I have the privilege of unveiling something truly special. As you may know, we built Angular Material to provide developers with a set of components with great styles and functionality, but we noticed that there was still the opportunity to serve developers who want their own custom styles. Customizing Angular Material styles was quite the challenge, and try as we might, it didn't quite meet the needs of the developer community. Then it came to us. We need to create a set of headless components where we deliver the accessibility and developers bring the styles. Allow me to introduce the very special Angular Aria. Angular Aria was created to handle common and complex accessibility patterns so that developers can focus on crafting their own unique look. When we say headless, we mean that the library ships with no styles out of the box. These components are ready for you to apply your own look and feel. We also want it to be straightforward to incorporate into your applications. That's why we've included a showcase of unique skins that you can copy and paste into your code to try out. Let's take a look at how to get started. First, you have to wield the power of the mighty Angular CLI to add this wonderful new package. By typing npmi at angular forward slash aria, you will install the necessary pieces to get started. Once you have the package installed, you can head to the Angular Aria documentation and copy the code for the component that fits your heart's desire. For example, you can select the Angular Aria toolbar and paste the code into your project. From there, you'll have the power to customize and style and add your required functionality to build a truly personalized experience for your users. We are launching a total of eight accessibility patterns that encompass 13 components. These eight were chosen because they provide complex patterns that meet developer needs. Most notably, we are shipping patterns like the grid, tree, menu, and autocomplete. We are excited to be providing this new resource to the Angular community. Update to the latest version of Angular today to get started. As for you, Mark, I have a special directive. It is the key you've been searching for. Behold! Oh, just kidding. Here's the key that you seek. Ugh. You know, this is all Jessica's fault. She has me out here running from oversized ladybugs and hopping over platforms. The team suddenly has new identities? What? Well, at least I got the second key. Hey, where's that amazing music coming from? Wait, what? Is that a sketchy back alley? Now, I already know I shouldn't go over there, but I'm gonna do it for the plot. Besides, what's the worst that can happen? Oh yeah, definitely sketchy. And it's dark in here. And I can't see a thing. Finally, I can see something. What? Oh no, this is one of those fighting games. Is that a mummy? Hold up, that lady had torches in her hands. I don't even think that was a human. No, 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 no. Not you again. Is there some sort of form I can fill out to get out of this? Because honestly, being in this fight is worse than dealing with the control value accessor. At least I got my muscles right. I wish I could bring my own backup to this match. You know, the same way developers want to bring their own data model to forms. Oh well, I guess we're doing this. Begin. Presentation. Hey Mark, this is me, the mighty Kirill. If you don't want to fight, you have to fill out the opt-out form. Unfortunately, our old form is deprecated, but we will build a new one right now using the new signal forms. 
Yes, we heard developers needed a reactive, composable and declarative forest solution, and we've been working on one. But before we start, prove you're not a robot. Tell me how to use the control value accessor. Exactly, thank you. Now let's build the form. A signal form starts with a signal containing your data model. We will need your name, an opt-out checkbox and 5-star rating. We will also need your email so that you can subscribe to our newsletter. To make a form out of the signal, let's pass it to the form function. The form preserves the shape of your data and enhances superpowers. For example, now you can reactively read and set values on the form and its subfields. You can also get the state, such as valid or disabled, by calling appropriate signals on fields. Now let's add some validation. To do this, you pass a callback to the form, which takes a path argument. Path mirrors the shape of your form, but has no access to state or values. You can use it to apply rules to your fields. Let's use built-in validators to make sure the name is required and the email is correct. You can also create custom validators. For example, let's make sure that the rating property is 5 stars by using a validation rule. If the rating is too low, let's return an error, otherwise return undefined. Yeah, no more nows, I'm very happy about that. Now the form model is ready and it's time to see what happens in the template. Let's bind each field to the appropriate input using the new field directive. You can also use the field directive to bind a field to a custom component. Let's use a rating component, which we'll create in a second. Wow! Inside the rating component, there is no more control value accessor. Instead, all we have to do is to implement form control interface and set up appropriate inputs and models, and the field directive will bind them all to the appropriate field states. Now, the form is ready to go. While Mark is filling it out, I'm very excited to share that we're launching signal forms as experimental in Angular v21. And when I say experimental, I actually mean it. Things might still change a lot. You can try all new signal forms on your local machine or go to angular.dev slash signal forms and try them in an interactive playground. Now, Mark, here's your key. Okay, that's three keys down, and I didn't even have to fight that overly aggressive ladybug. Thank goodness. Can something good please just happen right now? Haha! -ha, finally, something good is happening to me. There is no way that Happy Little Castle has any tricks in store. That must be the way out. Oh, that treasure chest must be the way out of here! Surprise! It's me, Jessica. <laughs> ah, you should have seen your face. <laughs> you thought you were going to get to leave. Uh, but I have one more thing to share with everyone. I have some exciting news. A few months ago, we ran an RFC, and it was the mostest, responded toest RFC we've ever had. That's right, it's the one about writing boring unit tests. Wait, no. Uh, it's the one with the angular mascot. Ta-da! That's right! There was a lot of debate, and I mean a lot of debate, about what our mascot should look like. Should it be an angular fish? Should it be a different angular fish? Something else? But there was a pretty clear winner from the community. So without further ado, drumroll please, it's Little Armor Guy! You all showed an overwhelming amount of support and love for this little character, and we're proud to adopt them as our new mascot. So we can officially now introduce you to Angie, your new Angular mascot. We'll be updating our press kit with all of Angie's details. So very soon, you'll be able to use it in all of your favorite places. You can find more at angular.dev slash press kit. Watch for updates soon. All right, all right. Are you done? Can we please go home now? Mark, the home was inside you all along. Jessica, what are you talking about? Made you look. <laughs> Whoa, what an adventure. We hope that you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed making this. Now we talked about AI, signal forms, and Angular Aria, and guess what? There are even more features available, so check out blog.angular.dev and be sure to run ng-update. 
All right, friends, that's it from us. You get out there and create apps that your users will love. We'll see you the next time.